금일 지하가 다소 소란스러울 수 있겠습니다. 사냥을 대비하여 버틀러들의 합을 맞추는 시간이 있을 수 있으니 날부치 소리 등이 울려 퍼져도 안심하시길 부탁드립니다. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Limbus Company Season 4. In the last episode, we descended into the basement. Kathy was clearly quite crazy. And we have a bunch of Pekatula to deal with. We also got to see our first case of the Tier 2 uh, Gluttony Pekatula. We didn't get to see much of them because it kind of got obliterated. Heck, we don't even know what it's supposed to be weak to for some reason. But yeah, and in this t step we have once again a mystery Pekatula over here. So let's see. You're weak to... I know that you're weak to lust even though it's not showing me. You're weak to lust and gloom. Gluttony and gloom. You're resilient to gloom but weak to gluttony. Yeah, let's just keep going with the sinking team. Why do I see what looks to be a Ufi fixer right down there? The room was filled with rows upon rows of mysterious glass pots, each housing a completely still person inside. 각자 다른 복장을 하고 있으며 나이, 성별 또한 제각각. 그리고 티사에서는 대대적인 실종 사건이 벌어지고 있다 들었다. 그렇다면 저, 저기 당신들이 찾던 황금 가지가 저건가요? At the end of the basement was a woman lying inside a coffin. Kathy! Oh. Hi Kathy. And Heathcliff was the only one who immediately recognized her face. She appeared to be at peace, as though in a pleasant dream. Attached to the coffin was a golden bough, shimmering with the golden light we'd grown familiar with. <laughs> The room, the glass pods, the chaos, none of it seemed to register for Heathcliff. He began sprinting towards the coffin like a madman. Don Quixote? Don Quixote, who I was ready to see sprinting alongside Heathcliff, was standing still, aghast. A misunderstanding? Mussun 하여 섣부른 오해를 하고 싶지 않네. 그러니 부디 답을 내주시게. 앞에 막고 있는 놈들 당장 비켜. 이쪽으로는 접근 금지입니다. 금지? 지금 내 바로 앞에 캐서린이 보이는데. 씨에게 향하는 걸이 새끼들이 금지시킬 수 있을 것 같냐? 음, 벌써 여기까지 올 거라고는 예상 못했는데 
뭐 아직 때가 되지 않았으니 부산물을 풀어라 The fixes began fiddling with the lab machines All right. I get the feeling we're going to find out what the sloth tier 2 are going to be like, so let's just finagle some things. You cannot hit me if I use my evade, so I think I'll just take that risk. You cannot beat me. We have to intercept that. Decent odds. Oof. We're counting on you to flip tails or to flip all heads. Favored. We'll save the skill three for another time. Alright, round two. Beat him down with that. Still level 39 though. You know what, I don't mind letting you win that clash. Or rather, I don't mind letting you get a one-sided attack if I can hit you back with a one-sided attack. Get the cheap shot off on him. Okay, I think now is when Heathcliff needs to swap over to using Puddle Stomp because uh, we can't afford to let him keep that many sinking potus on him.
고작 터뜨려주지. 다시 못 살게 구는 일은 없을 것이오. 그대받지 않은 것들은 모조리 치워버려 주신다. 너도 걸레적이 되어버렸군. Next round. Hello, you are definitely not. I, I was not expecting you to look like that. Pecatulum Acide. If target has tremor, gain clash power. Inflict paralyze on hit and offense down. Inflict tremor count and tremor and all sorts of things we really don't like. He has a passive, we don't know what it is. We are just barely short on enough envy to use Rhyme Shank. How about that? Actually, wait. Inflict sinking count, then sinking. Gain coin power for sinking. So, actually, uh. Provided Ishmael wins on her first clash, we should be able to rack up a stupid amount of damage with Moment's Floral Breeze here. And then I guess just clashes, so. work. Maybe it needed to have the sinking effect on it already, I guess? You have three skill three in a row. I need skill two in a row, you sing. What bad odds. We still don't know what your passive is, though. Red things seep from what resembles a rock. Its nature could not be determined. It very well could be veins, muscle tissue, or ore that resembles that resembles blood that carries blood. Thus, the most ideal nomenclature for the fluid for the moment would be red things. With its every movement, the four smaller rocks held by the red things wavered precariously. It rolls its eyeball still, yet naught seems enough to stir it. It refuses to even ram us with its body. Instead, it merely swings what is in its grasp. Though it oft lashes off with two or more, two or so of what it grasped, it swings all four rocks at once, from time to time. As those numbers it must originate from its own conscious decisions, I consider it to be a living being. In other words, I am, in turn, alive as well still. I merely find it regrettable that the rock is no longer levitating. It's quite miraculous that such a thin thing can endure the weight of such a heavy boulder. As it is attached to the earth, it is self-evident that truth that it can no longer be said to be said in a, in a state of levitation. Where it has once levitated, though bereft of wings, has fallen to the earth, and the rock facilitates hither to thither, fettered to it, the swaying red thing with no freedom to call its own. Though its form has changed, it... 
Though its form has changed, its nature remains that it is a lazy living being. Yet, it may also be said that such staunch resilience to change may be itself a form of assiduity. What changes is slothfulness, yet what changes is not diligence. What an odd sophistry, such is all I have to say. IDK WTH HTA Come on mate, even the incomprehensible lass can't understand what the hell you're talking about. Right plainly for once, yeah? I believe this, that this record was composed in quite the lucid incontrovertibility. Luca incontro- Ugh. Come on you saying. You're doing this on purpose at this point, aren't ya? I have nothing else to say. Hello again, Kathy. Okay, slash week. Alright, that's a job for the story team, I guess. Although, granted, I'm a little bit tempted to pull back Sinclair just so we can bring in uh, Ryoshu, but mm, then we lose our source of gluttony, and the thing is, Sinclair is actually a kind of our healer. But he needs wrath and lust, and we don't exactly get a lot of lust. I get the feeling we're about to pick a fight with the Yuffie Association, though. Uh, wait, this one again. 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 Uh, wait, this one 모종의 인간을 만들어내는 실험이라고 합니다. 또한 가능성의 폭을 조금 더 넓혀보자면 이 지하실은 그저 동력을 가동하는 시작 장소에 불과하며 이 저택 자체가 하나의 거대한 실험실이 되었다고도 볼수 있겠군요. Sometimes Force looks like she's pausing to look at something before speaking. 이상 씨는 어떤 게 낯이 익다고 생각하시는 건가요? 생각이 아니라 보이고 있어. 내가 직접 설계하고 연구하였던 장치들이. 아, 그것은 결코 이런 식으로 쓰이길 바라고 연구한 것들이 아니오. 사람을 쓰고 더욱이 만들고 그런 해괴한 것을 위함이 아니었어. Uh, those days where he did actually work for Encore coming back. Uh, 
더 두려운 사실이 있는 건가요? 이상 씨? 내가 두려워하는 것은 비록 내가 일부 설계하였다고는 하나 그 당시 내 벗들의 조력 없이는 결코 이루지 못했을 결코 He sang f a l l silent, unable to finish his sentence. He faces forward. That man is... Hello! 나를 일찍이 알아보지 않았는가? 무어라 말이라도 해보시게. 반갑다는 말도 그렇지 않다는 말도 잘 지내냐는 말도 모두 어색하게 그지 없어. 그러니 침묵만큼 괜찮은 답은 없겠지. 그대가 그 시절 침묵을 가까이 했듯이, 그렇지? 이 광경들을 보고도 그리 태연하게 말할 수 있는 것이라면 그대는 이미 이 모든 장면들을 일찍이 보아오고 있었나 보군. 아세야. 뭐 온전히 내 결심으로만 비롯된 일은 아니었네. I'm trying to remember if he was part of the, the if he was part of the league or not before it got dismantled. 자네도 알지 않나. 내가 이 정도의 야망이 있는 그릇까지는 아니었다는 걸. 이봐, 함부로 얼굴을 드러내면. Oh, Uffy, the ring. Ugh, they might be fakes. 이미 다 알려진 마당에 뭘 그렇게 숨기기 급급하나 추하게 당신은 이전부터 정말 지긋지긋하고 이번엔 기필코 그분들에게 낱낱이 보고를 그분들이라 재밌군 도슨트들을 말하는 건가? 아니면 마에스트로? 무슨 말을 하는 거야 루시오 그 명칭들은 분명 말했지. 저것들은 이상하다고. Why didn't we listen to her? I remember Ryoshu telling the Ophi Association fixers to stop. That there was something off about them. Then. 저것들 왜 우피가 아니다. All right, I'm sure Don Quixote will be much happier about skewering them now. 허접한 흉내를 내는 모조품들이지. So, judging by uh, Heathcliff's own identity, these guys will be tremor focused. No, they are not. Enamored Researcher of the Ring inflicts bleed. Bleed base power inflict rupture equal to bleed. If target has bleed, gain attack power up. If they have a lot of bleed, deal bonus damage and uh, inflict defense level down on heads hits. In a clash, Gain Clash Power. Heal 2 SP self on hit against targets with bleed. We have enamored researchers and a mad researcher. What do you do? Inflict bleed count. So only one person around here is for inflicting bleed count. Heal SP when hitting bleed. Okay. Ooh, I don't like this. And I really don't like that. It's because it's a, it's a PS attack. Yi Seng cannot handle this, so we need to do some finagling. Rending is for level... Rending is for level 1, so this will give him a slight head start. Oh, 
Mind you, they don't seem to have gotten any actual bleed effects on us, though. That's really weird. Oh, that's disgusting. And the thing is, even if we guard against it, he's still going to get 10 SP for winning this, but if I tried to clash, then he'd get even more, so... Ugh. Okay, go for the sloth attack, try to get the bleed count off yourself. I do not like how many times Yi Sang has lost clashes. It is not healthy for him. On the upside, he is guaranteed to win this clash. I mean, I could yield my flesh, but that wouldn't help. We aren't taking prisoners here. And now it's too enamored, too mad. I think that's why it's the skill one. You know, I haven't really had a chance to use Wishing Can. Ooh, but I think I'll save it because we might need an emergency heal. That is not an ideal person to have targeted with that. Ninety two damage, that's gonna hurt a lot. We might get lucky and at least destroy some of his skill coins. And failing that, we'll be able to give Sinclair impending day next turn. Oh. <laughs> 
진짜 흉터의 결과요. 아름다운 것. 그렇지 않은 것. 혈이 남자오. Okay, I guess. Oof. You know what? They're just checking. No corrosion chance. Alright, we'll figure out what's going on here next time. Until then guys, take care. I'll see you all around. Although it looks like next time is going to be just pure battle, so who knows what that's going to bring us.